Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. My son and I were out here messing around with the foam cutter the other day. Yes, I'm still using my cardboard foam cutter uh, because it's as good as I need. I uh, haven't found the need to upgrade just yet. It works great. So we were making uh, some little things here out of some foam. He loves using this. We were cutting a bunch of circles. I'm going to cut a few more for another project I'm working on. Uh, I'm using this little circle cutter available on Etsy. It's really simple to use. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple circles here that I intend to then stack and then cut out a cone. I'm thinking I'm going to use this for a nose cone for a rocket that I'm working on. I'm going to start with a three inch diameter circle. So I'm going to put my pin here in the third hole. This part of the jig cuts integer circles uh, from one to 15. This part of the jig cuts integer plus a half. So one and a half, uh, two and a half and so on. And then what's really nice is that it fits together uh, in case you need a long handle. So if you've got a big piece of foam that you need to spin around a pin, you still have something to hang on to. And you can get really crazy and cut up to a 29 inch diameter circle if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and position this like so to cut my three inch diameter circle. Uh, figure in the minimal waist there. Okay. You can see foam sticking through there. That's good. Rotate it. There's foam there. Let's come all the way around to this circle, and there's foam there. Good. So I know I can definitely cut this. I'm going to push this in until the wire is seated completely in this little notch. The notch ensures that you get consistent, repeatable cuts every single time. So that's what I'm going to do. Go until it stops. Seat's in the groove. I'm making sure to go nice and steady because for those of you that have used foam cutters, you know if you pause, you'll get a little hot spot where you burn just a little bit extra. And once I've gone all the way around, I simply pull back, power off, remove that, and there's my perfect circle. I'm going to go ahead now and make a two and a one. I'm going to stack them and then we'll cut a cone. Okay, now that the wood glue is dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut my cone. I've got this set up at an angle. Uh, it's fairly shallow for now. Uh, you can always make it steeper, but I want to make sure that I don't uh, eat into too much of my top cone here. And, just like that, we have a cone shaped. Now you can see, like I mentioned, I left a little bit here up at the top. I can always tilt it more, but I can never, you know, create new foam where there was none. But you can see just how easy that really was to cut a cone. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.